my friends welcome back again to my youtube channel and in today's video let's talk about this radio cassette recorder by sanyo in today's video i'm going to share how to convert this one from 100 volts into 220 volts this unit is made in taiwan but the unit came from japan and now let's get started This is the specs of the Sanyo radio cassette. DC 6 volts. Then the AC is 100 volts. This is the power source. And this is 7 watts. Let's check first the step down transformer inside. Power cord. And this is connected directly to the power transformer. This one. This is a step down transformer of this unit. This side here is the primary. 100 volts. The secondary side is this one. For now, I don't know the output voltage. Let's check it later. Now the connection. Yellow, white, yellow. It connects to this pin. This pin and this pin. Now let's find the rectifier diode. It uses two diodes, this one and this one. It means that this connection going these two diodes, this is a center tap connection. And now let's check the output voltage of this transformer. Now the unit is already plugged. Coconut oil. Now let's check the output voltage on the secondary side. It reads 7.1 volts, the other half more or less 7 volts in that range. So it means the transformer is 707. And now let's check the DC voltage from this transformer to a rectifier. My reading is 9.5 volts. This is no load. I just plugged the radio but I did not turn on the radio. Now let's turn on the radio. With load, more or less, it is in the range 8.3 volts. That's the reading. Now that we know the output voltage of this unit, with load 8.3 volts, without load 9.5 volts. In this video, I'm going to use 909, but I'm going to regulate my 909 by using 7808 regulator IC. Since I know that if it has the load, it goes around more or less 8.3 volts. So that's why I'm using 7808, not 7806, because we know that this unit is a 6 volts when using battery but I'm not going to do that because if I will use 6 volts regulator IC there's a tendency that it will go down because of the load especially on the motor and the radio so I will stick to 8 since I know the output voltage of this unit if it has a load it go down to 8.3 volts and on the battery on the other hand why they use 6 battery has a stable current unlike using a step down transformer our current our external power goes up or it goes down it has a high and low voltage that's why i will use 8 volts and that is safe because 8 volts is regulated by 7808 ic This is my step-down transformer 909 and this is the original transformer. I have a little problem because my transformer is bigger than the original. And I have a difficulty in mounting on this part. So anyway, I'm going to make another plan how to mount this transformer on this side. Problem solved and this is the transformer 909. This is the lock. At the same time, this is my heatsink for my AN7808 regulator IC. And now let's start rewiring this unit.
now this is the connection from the 909 going to the diode from the diode I bypass this one going to the regulator IC from regulator IC connected going to the B plus this is connected on this capacitor this is the filter cup of this diode but now this is already bypassed on the regulator IC and now let's test this one let's start AM this is AM then turn on radio Now let's go for FM. This is FM. No channels on this part because this is a Japan standard from 76 until 90. My channel or my station starts 88 until 108. Put sa puntong di na nako may. Kusog. Moi. Ah, hello. Ah. How can you? Now let's go for the tape. I have here a Never Sleep. This is a music from YouTube. I'm going to flip this so you can see the back part and just check the capstan. I'm going to push this play button. It's working guys That's all. Hope this video helps and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more and more interesting videos to come. Thanks for watching guys.